Archaeology has extraordinarily expanded the spatial and temporal horizon of history. Writing has existed for about 5,000 years, and the entire previous period of human history, equal according to the latest data to almost 2 million years, became known only thanks to the development of archaeology. And the written sources themselves for the first 2,000 years of their existence, Egyptian hieroglyphs, linear Greek writing, Babylonian cuneiform, were open to science by archaeologists. In this video, I will tell you about the very unusual finds of archaeologists, and you will see the oldest puzzle illusion. Watch the video until the end. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Radiocarbon Analysis of Roman Shrines in the mother of all the churches of the world, the later and basilica in Rome, where the Pope serves and sits at the cathedral, there is a real collection of Christian shrines. In a small museum hid between the chapels in this fragment of the tunic of St. Francis of Assisi, which is associated with one of the high-profile stories of our days. The fact is that in the Catholic worlds, four full robes are known, attributable to the clothes that St. Francis really wore. A few years ago, the Franciscan Order ordered a radiocarbon analysis of the so-called Tuscan cassock of Francis, and dating showed that the relic was created no earlier than a hundred years after the death of the saint. Chinese writing on stone Chinese civilization dates back dozens of centuries and never ceases to amaze the world with its ancient artifacts. This fully applies to the mysterious writings left by the monks of an ancient monastery 8 kilometers from Beijing. The hieroglyphs embossed by them were applied to stone slabs. Today, their copies are kept in the center of the Chinese capital, in one of the Buddhist temples. 30 million hieroglyphs were written off by archaeologists from 15,000 slabs. Now painstaking work is being carried out to make encrypted knowledge available to contemporaries. The story was mysterious writings began from the moment of discovery, more than 60 years ago, of the first plate. With difficulty, it was possible to recognize the meaning of the inscriptions applied to it. Scientists realized that there is a cache with treasures hidden in it. The slab indicated where to look for it. The discovered treasures turned out to be an ancient library, only it did not consist of books, but of stone slabs. The study of hieroglyphs began with their careful copying from stone to paper prints, which are located in Beijing. It was soon noticed that priceless relics can be destroyed under the influence of the external environment, and the slabs were created conditions that maximized their preservation for future generations. The monks who lived more than 1,400 years ago did a great job carving important information on stone slabs, which they then placed in caves. In total, nine caves for slabs were punched into the rocks, but at present, only the Cave of Thunder Peels is open to the public. It was in that the young monk Ching Wen hid about 150 plates, which are the beginning of all knowledge recorded in the stone library. What is said in the ancient writings? These are parting words for future generations and records of the organization of all spheres of life and prophecies. The most unpleasant is information about the cessation of the existence of life. That is why, knowing about the future, the monks wrote down their knowledge not on paper, but on stone, in order to preserve it for future generations. 2 kg gold bar from Mexico City it was found in a city park in 1981. Who and when could saw it, on the subject after all is non-trivial, all these years was unknown. It seems that its origins have finally become clearer. Experts who studied the Inga, weighing 1.93 kilograms, using X-ray photography, came to the conclusion that we have in front of us a part of the hastily melted treasures of the Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan. Such a meltdown in the history of these places most likely could only happen once. In the days preceding the flight of the conquistadors from Tenochtitlan on June 30, 1520, then the Spaniards, under the command of Hernan Cortes, tried to leave the Aztec capital at night, but were attacked by the locals, who fought with extraordinary tenacity. Spanish sources differ in their estimates of their losses, from 150 to 450 people. The latter figure is about a third of the entire detachment of Cortes. According to the testimonies of the participants in the campaign, all the participants in the events of that night from the Spanish side received some kind of injury. 
The losses of the Aztecs should have been many times greater, since their weapons and armor were much more primitive. The knight received in Spanish sources its own name, La Noche Triste, Night of Sorrow. There is nothing surprising in the fact that in those turbulent events, a gold Inga was lost or even thrown out, useless in a street fight. Ancient Roman Gentlemen's Club during excavations near the city of Scarborough in the UK, a unique ancient Roman house was discovered. The ancient villa was found by chance during construction. The layout of the villa turned out to be very unusual. It was a huge complex of a large central house and several buildings. No villas with this layout have been found in the UK before. Experts also believe that the house may be the first of its kind on the territory of the Roman Empire. Scientists are currently checking information about villas from this period discovered in Europe. The central structure was circular in shape, which is also unique for such houses from the time of the Roman Empire. Presumably, it was a round tower. The purpose of the adjacent buildings is still being clarified, but one of them was a thermal bath, a Roman bath. To get into it, you did not need to go out into the yard. Archaeologists consider this complex fantastic and also call it hybrid and reminiscent of the gentleman's club. They are trying to establish who could be its master. According to one hypothesis, the complex after its construction was used as a religious building, but then there should not have been a bath here. The villa will be given the status of a national monument and will be open for inspection. The construction, which was planned at the site, will be moved to another location. Unknown city that stood for 5,000 years in France, experts from the National Institute for Preventive Archaeological Research, while carrying out excavations on the banks of Du River in the Drac Bourguin French Comte commune, discovered a settlement that arose in the Neolithic era and stood until the Gallo Roman era. Large scale excavations were carried out by order of the state in the Pierre de Brasse quarry. They started in the fall of 2020. The study covered a vast area of 10 hectares. As a result, archaeologists discovered a previously unknown settlement and the found artifacts and burials indicate that people have permanently lived here for more than five millennia. The oldest finds date back to the early and middle Neolithic. In particular, burials of that time period have been excavated. The dead were placed in the graves in twos, laying them on their side in a bent position. The study of the discovered remains showed that the bodies of the deceased were specially prepared for burial. In particular, they were wrapped in something to give them the desired embryo position. During the excavations, the only tomb of the Bronze Age was discovered. The skeleton in it also lay on its side in a bent position. In addition, an Iron Age burial complex has been excavated. It consists of two monumental structures surrounded by moats. In the center was a cremation burial. According to experts, this complex was intended for the elite, in particular for outstanding warriors. Also, during the excavations, the remains of various structures were discovered, including artificially created reservoirs and wells, fragments of adobe buildings, numerous shards of ceramics, details of wooden products, including steers and seeds, which testifies to the conduct of agriculture. The first silver coins According to scientists, the first coin made of silver appeared in Lydia in the 7th century BC. At that time, the Lydians did not have prosperity, but it was the appearance of coins unique at that time that determined the improvement in their well-being. An interesting fact is that the appearance of silver coins was the next step after an attempt to modernize the not very convenient economic model of commodity exchange. After the innovations in Lydia, the Silver Era began in many other states. By the way, it is noteworthy that in other countries, coins were often made from an alloy of silver and gold. This alloy was called electrum. The color of the coin could change precisely from the amount of silver contained in it, but the minting was carried out by hitting the metal, which was hot, with a hammer. If the Lydians depicted a line on the obverse, then in Greece in the same century, silver banknotes contained the image of a turtle, the symbol of the city of Aegina, in which unique coins at that time were minted. Well, already in the 3rd century BC, the ancient Romans also began to mint silver coins, the weight indicators of which were often completely different. The silver coins of Roman times are the Denarius and the Cisterdias. After the above-mentioned states ceased to exist, colonized Spain began to issue silver coins. America is no exception, which began to mass-produce silver coins after massive silver mining began on Mexican territory. 
By the way, it was on the territory of America that a silver dollar was issued, which is quite rightly called a pancake because of its geometric deformation. Masks of the Ancient Giants of South America the mysterious masks found on the South American continent indicate that 10,000 years ago very advanced people lived in the Andes. Who were these strangers? And where did they come from? Some researchers believe that these people were the last Atlanteans. Inca legends say that the ancient city of Tiwanaku, which is located on the territory of modern Bolivia, was built by giants who survived the flood. The famous ruins of the city, which we admire today, make it clear to us that it was not built for people, but for some creatures whose height reached three and a half meters. Traces of some ancient civilization that existed in South America, even before the Incas are constantly being discovered in these places by researchers. The legends of the Incas mention creatures of simply gigantic proportions. They were so large that ordinary people only reached their knees in height. The very first reports of South American giants can be found in the works of one of the first chroniclers of South America, the Spanish priest C.S. de Leon. He often met with the locals and wrote down their stories. Could these incredible masks be evidence of the existence of giants in ancient South America? Or were they just used in some rituals? Maybe one day we will be able to find the answer to this question. The World's First Illusion Puzzle this puzzle is 14,000 years old and is the world's first illusion toy. It works just like the classic rabbit duck figure. Look carefully, two beasts are encrypted in it. The long bulge on the left can be mistaken for the tusk of a mammoth, which stands proudly on the ground. But, on the other hand, it is the horn of a buffalo that bowed its head. Look, you can see his eyes over there. A skilled carver has engraved tusk lines, fur and legs on this figurine. Recall the classic illustration from a 19th century German magazine. At first glance, it depicts a duck, but its beak also looks like a rabbit's ears. This famous picture was called the rabbit duck illusion, opening up a whole layer of illusion pictures to people. It is interesting that such pictures were seriously studied by psychologists, Jastrow and Wittgenstein, studying from them how a person perceives and puts information in his head. Let's dive into the picture of the past, what exactly happened on Earth 14 thousand years ago. At this time, the Paleolithic period ends. Our Cro-Magnon ancestors finally won, displacing all other types of people, Neanderthals and Denisovans. 14,000 years ago, the Ice Age was in full swing when it was impossible to live in Europe, only in the south, on the Mediterranean coast. But the Sahara is a wonderful place with a comfortable climate. By the way, the figurine was found on the territory of modern France. It was perhaps the northernmost place to live in those years. Next was ice. At this point, people all over the planet are classic hunter-gatherers with stone tools. Stone processing has already been mastered to perfection. This is what this funny figurine of a bison mammoth, which was made by the ancient Frenchman, says. The oldest cockroach in history Look at this photo of an insect in petrified amber. Do you recognize? Yes, in front of you is a real cockroach, only very ancient. It is 100 million years old. Found a fossil in the amber deposits of Myanmar. In addition to the insect, its feces were frozen in amber. A detailed examination of the sample showed that the excrement contained well-preserved pollen grains. This supports the theory that cockroaches were pollinators of the sago palm. Probably one of the plants caused the death of the cockroach, which got stuck in its resin. The scientists also found protozoans and bacteria that are very similar to those found in the guts of modern termites and cockroaches. This indicates that the symbiosis between insects and gut bacteria goes back about 100 million years, if not more. The video has come to an end, but soon a new video will be released on the channel with even more interesting finds that will take your breath away. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you don't miss a new video. Thanks for your views! Bye everyone!